Earlier this season, Jody visited with you about insecticides, and today we're gonna to spend a little time on fungicides. Uh, but before we do, I wanna emphasize a few critical things whenever you're gonna use a fungicide. Many times in our landscape, we really don't need these products, and we can get away with uh, using other management techniques so we're not introducing chemicals to the landscape. So as we look at these products, we'll go through that. The first one uh, I wanna talk about, and really we're a little bit past the window when you protect uh, for this disease, but any of you that were dealing with summer patch, or necrotic ring spot in your lawn. Uh, making a fungicide application with a granular product and then watering it in, uh, this would be a product that we'd use for that. Specifically, this one has thionephanate methyl in it, and that product is one that becomes systemic, so it's absorbed in the root system, and then it's taken up into the plant, okay? We water it in, because in, in the case of necrotic ring spot, or summer patch, we're gonna to try to get that product in so it's protecting the roots and it's absorbed in the root tissue. Another application that we could see uh, in a lawn setting or ornamentals, uh, this is a product where we've got one of our easy to connect hose in applicators. Uh, so with this product, there's no mixing. Um, you just take this, hook it to the hose, and, and then you've got a spray application. This is one that's a systemic fungicide. Also, this one has propiconazole, a product you hear us reference many times on Backyard Farmer. Now, Propiconazole is a, is a product that is systemic and can be used for a lot of different diseases. Uh, but again, this is one that would hit in that, in that landscape ornamental uh, and, and turf disease management space. Uh, the other thing that we wanna pay attention to on these products is to look at the pre-harvest interval for anything that we're gonna use a product for that is gonna be uh, going into uh, a food production or food system. So for example, in this product, uh, it's not gonna be labeled for food production, it's only labeled for non-bearing apple trees, for example. So you could spray your apple trees before they're in fruit production with this particular. We also have one here that this is a product that is very common in the fungicide market, chlorothalonil. This one is funginil, uh, but there are many other products that could be similar with the same active ingredient. So today I'm showing you a few just for example purposes, but when you look at that active ingredient, for example, here with chlorothalonil, you could find that in many, many other packaged products that would be labeled and, and their brand name would be different. So when we look at this one, this one has a lot more diversity and, and shows clearly the different uh, PHIs or pre-harvest interval days. Another one just to finish up is an organic product that's uh, a sulfur product. Now coppers and sulfurs, are typically the products that we see used widely in organic production, and many of you use those in your backyard gardens. This is a product that could actually be dusted onto the plant, or it could actually be applied with a liquid uh, solution. So you can mix the product up, it has a label uh, identification for how much to put per gallon, and uh, will, will result in the same control. So when you're working with fungicides in your landscape, make sure that you're always reading and following those label directions. The label specifies the amount of, of product to use, how to make that application to effectively manage the disease, and all those pre-harvest interval and restrictions.